Undoubtedly uprooted schools, lesson turned remote and human interaction suddenly centered around a screen. Two years later, schools and students have adapted to a new normal as they are back in the classroom. This morning, I take you inside a Van Buren County classroom and follow along a third grader named Jameson. His last typical year in school, he was in kindergarten. He shows us firsthand what's the same and what's changed. It's the start of another school day for Jameson Stewart. He's a busy third grader, mask on, backpack tucked away, lunchbox in hand, a desk stocked with the tools a kid needs to succeed. About your family holiday traditions. Two years ago, school life for Jameson and his entire generation of students changed. We were just learning how to use um, computers. So it was kind of hard because um, I wasn't as good with computers as I am right now. It was, yeah, it was kind of hard to stay focused. You know how younger siblings are, they're trying to distract you. Mom Ann remembers math over the kitchen table and the fatigue from her two young boys continuously sitting on Zooms and Google Meets. I loved the extra time with him and it was good to have the extra time, but it's always better when you can be just the parent and not the parent and the teacher as well. Um, and of course, he missed the social component of being with his friends. So she's happy to be back to the morning routine, helping the boys out of the car and into their coats. There's just one extra step. Every morning, Jameson likes to pick the mask that best matches his outfit. Jameson and little brother Halen choose to wear masks at their mask optional elementary schools. reinforced that some students like Jameson learn best working with their hands and thinking with their peers. My marks went out because it, I could it was better in person. Papa schools equip kids with Chromebooks and hotspots to learn from home like many other districts. Even with access though to technology many struggled to keep up. As a teacher it's really put more of a um, of a strain on being sure that we try to meet them where they are. I think it's regardless of the pandemic, but I think we've seen more of that the last couple of years than we ever have before. Inside Cheryl Anderson's third grade class, there's more hand sanitizer now and social distancing. But traditional learning is back on. Anderson says the big challenge now for teachers is in a new subject, mental health. Learning about other um, ideas that other people have and how to work through those. And the little people are talking about big oh, yeah. adult topics, vaccines mm -hmm. and masks. And well, and I find it's important as their teacher to let them and to we sometimes have discussions on that. Um, I have kids that come in and say, Miss Anderson, I got my second shot today. How are you feeling? Good for you. I'm so proud of you. You know, to really compliment them on those big thoughts and those big ideas that they, they're persevering through it. What can we do with factors and multiplication? And maybe the biggest takeaway of all of this, the kids have adapted to the roller coaster of school over the last few years better than we give them credit for. I'm like, really? Has it really been like, it's been like two and a half years, like, wow. I think this generation will be much more, I hope they will be much more willing to give up smaller things for the greater good. Uh, schools has a new program in place before and after school to help catch kids up who might be falling behind. And an advantage of remote learning, those kids in the classroom are much more advanced at a young age at technology skills, and that will serve them well into adulthood.